The member for Durham. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for starting his remarks remembering Sergeant Duarall and the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces who act on the orders of this House, and whether the mission is as it was under the previous government or this government, all members of this House respect the role they play for Canada, Mr. Speaker. My question relates to the mission, and it's very similar to the mission the last government started, Mr. Speaker, in that Canada has been one of the largest per capita aid donors. We've helped the dislocated and refugees. We're doing more of that. But the third pillar, the military effort alongside our allies, is what's being changed, Mr. Speaker. Lester Pearson once said whether a Canadian fires a rifle in Korea or in Europe, they're protecting people at home themselves. And the Prime Minister said today that ISIS is a direct threat to our people. So why, in light of the fact that airstrikes over the last year have limited ISIS to 25 percent of the territory they once held, cut them off, and has them weakened, if they're a direct threat to Canadians, Mr. Speaker, why would the Prime Minister stop the air attacks, stop taking the fight to ISIS, and withdraw the military effort? Right Honourable Prime Minister. I thank the Honourable Member for his uh, question and his work on the file uh, addressing uh, concerns around military and veteran issues. Uh, the question we can agree on is uh, not whether or not Canada must uh, be part of the coalition uh, in a robust way against ISIL. So the question we are facing today, and indeed we face during the election campaign, is how Canada can best help. Uh, as a meaningful member of the coalition and contribute uh, to uh, slowing, stopping uh, and uh, eliminating ISIL. Uh, the uh, airstrikes by our allies and by our CAF members uh, have uh, been effective uh, in uh, a, a measure of impact against ISIL. But the question is always, what can Canada do uh, that other countries uh, cannot offer to the same degree? And we have developed a level of expertise in training local troops, uh, earned through 10 long years in Afghanistan, uh, that allow us to offer something that many of our allies are unable to offer, and indeed tripling our contingent of trainers uh, in uh, uh, the region is going to have a measurable and meaningful impact on the one thing that will ultimately defeat ISIL, that is local troops taking the fight directly to those people who've taken and invaded their homes, their lands and their communities. Yes.